Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from McClue Linux. A couple of days ago I dropped a bombshell. This everybody seems to get to know these latest videos, bombshell after bombshell. I dropped a bombshell on uh, what I've done on Unity, which was adding a whole bottom panel with Windows list and fully functional, blah, 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 blah. And then I introduced the concept of the three panel system where the top panel would control the plugins, your title bar controls, the side panel, your favorites, the bottom panel, a traditional menu and a windows list. Well, today I've taken it a step further. This is Alpha 2.2 that I'm currently working on. 2.1 was sent out to testers. Uh, I started implementing some stuff there. But this is 2.2 since uh, the testers, some of the testers seem to have problems with the installer and I, uh, I tell you I've almost smashed my PC a few times because I've been working more on the installer than I actually have on the Unity build. Um, between the constructor and the installer and adapting them to Ubuntu has not been easy, it's been very very hard actually and um, it's something that you know I thought would take much longer, it's actually taken me much quicker but anyway screw the installer for now I don't want to talk about the installer um, <coughs> I want to talk about what's up with the latest version of Mukulu unity desktop right so the bottom panel there's some changes on the bottom panel firstly you now see icons on both sides of the bottom bar you see icons on the right and icons on the left so I'm going to start with the icons on the right I've introduced a clock that actually gives you a current time if you hover your mouse over it it shows you a time so you've got a fully functional clock in the bottom uh, right hand corner the same way you would have on any other bottom panel so how awesome is that and here comes the nice thing if you actually click on the clock if you actually like click to open up the calendar or whatever it actually opens up a little app called Osmo now Osmo is a uh, calendar app that has a whole bunch of features that your normal calendar wouldn't have it's got tasks contacts notes and it's actually got a calendar and you can mark certain events it gives you the moon phases and you name it this thing's got it so it, it's a pretty pretty awesome bloody uh, calendar app if you want to call it that because it's actually an app it's not just a little uh, widget or whatever it's a full-on app that I installed so the clock is down there if you click on the clock you actually open up this calendar app one click calendar app open gives you your full calendar nice and big with a date as you can see it the moon phase number of days um, blah 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 and gives you a whole other bunch of features so there that how is that for an awesome clock so you got the clock up there at the top you got the clock here on the desktop and you've got the clock down in the bottom panel now I know a lot of people are going to switch off this clock over here and the quotes you know they might not like it so then they'll have the clock at the top and the bottom they could even remove the clock at the top if they want and keep the bottom clock doesn't matter the point is you've got this awesome clock in the bottom corner as you would on any other standard panel bottom panel and if you actually click it it actually gives you a full-on calendar with a whole bunch of features way more than any other calendar um, on any desktop when you click on that little clock because usually it just opens up a little calendar and that's it this is nice big ass calendar you can resize it I think yes you can resize it and uh, it's got a whole lot of stuff in it right so that's number one number two right next door you'll see the update manager fully functional update manager giving you notifications inside your panel now that is something that's never been done in Unity because even the default GNOME uh, software ma update manager that they use in Unity does not put any notifications in your panel at all. It actually pops up a little thing here in, in the side panel to let you notify these updates and to tell you the truth I a couple of times I didn't even notice it was there because I thought it was part of you know you've got so many icons on the side panel that you kind of don't notice an extra one there firstly and secondly it doesn't always notify straight away there are a couple of times when um, I've checked manually and I see there's updates so then I close it I don't update I close it 
and then I wait for the reminder to see, you know, is this thing going to pop up now? Reboot a few times, still hasn't popped up. A couple of hours go by, still hasn't popped up. And then just randomly throughout the day somewhere, I might reboot again, and then suddenly it pops up. So I know for a fact that that update manager is a piece of crap. It doesn't notify me immediately when the updates. It doesn't even notify me soon after. It seems to work on its own time. And, you know, frankly, if there's any bugs that I need fixing or critical updates I need, that thing is supposed to pop up. Okay, it doesn't. And therefore, I made use of the Mint Update Manager. And I've put the little icon here in the uh, bottom panel to notify you of updates. Okay, so there's the moment there's updates, this little thing will show a little exclamation mark and you can just update straight from there. Just click on it, install your updates, done. So now you've got a clock in the bottom corner. Uh, it's not doing that now because I've got the Synaptic Package Manager open. That's why it's giving me that little, another application is using APT. Anyway, um, <coughs> so I'm basically preventing it from checking updates. So don't stress, it is working. It's just that I've got that open, but I have that open for a reason. I'll show you in a minute. So you've got a kick-ass clock in the bottom corner. Right next door, you've got an update manager that actually gives you fucking update notice notifications on the screen that you cannot miss. So there, two very important features added to Unity right there. You actually have a clock with a nice kick-ass calendar that is actually fucking useful for a change. And you've got an update manager right there. So two maybe minor changes because they happen in this little space over here. But two brilliant little changes. So um, I that is like, it's priceless. Okay, you can't even put a value on it. Second thing is the actual update panel over here the bottom panel has got undergone some changes um, number one you'll actually notice if i take my mouse off it it actually fades into the background so i've made it um sort of disappear in a way because when you're using it then it's nice and bright and it's right there in your face but when you're not using it and you don't want to see it and you move your mouse away it actually fades off into the background so it doesn't disturb your 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 actual desktop or whatever you're doing okay but I'll get to that in a minute um, I want to show some of the other changes okay um, <clears throat> I've got I've in, uh, enabled repos for all the drivers there you got the bumblebee drivers you got the AMD drivers all the latest you got the latest Intel drivers you've got all the latest Nvidia drivers right up until 346 it's all there so the district unity will come out with all the drivers built in and that is awesome because the default drivers that are in there testers have had endless problems installing them so i actually went out and, and found some proper drivers and they're all incorporated into the system so i just wanted to point that out um, the other major change is firefox i've been experimenting between chrome and firefox and uh, I'm still undecided which one will go into the final release. I want to check out Opera as well and see if there's any kind of uh, uh, updates to Opera and what the status is. But at this point in time, it looks like Firefox is in the lead. So Firefox may be the final um, uh, browser that goes into this into the final build. Um, the advantage Firefox has over Chrome is that if you get any of those apt all you know the online app or you can just click it and it downloads the app straight to your desktop without needing to go through the software manager or the synaptic package manager or adding PPAs or whatever so that's always useful in um, unity um, whereas in Chrome you can view Netflix I'm not sure whether Firefox supports Netflix in the same way but uh, I'll still experiment with that at some stage um, I will be offering Netflix as part of the distro either way uh, if it only works on Chrome and Firefox is installed I'll probably make some script to uh, set up Netflix or something automated or something but I'll do something um, so so Firefox is the browser in 2.2 okay and uh, if you actually look now you'll actually see there there's only the two icons the main applications icon and the update repositories if I click this it will just one click update repositories same as I've put on all the Makulus just type in your password and it does app get update quickly so I found that useful I always find it useful instead of having to go open a terminal 
tight sudo app get update enter then put password then enter again here it's just one click I click on it put in my password and it does app get update and if you actually look now now that everything's closed you'll actually see that those two little icons over there at the bottom they kind of faded into the background out of the way and they aren't bothering anybody but if I need them they highlight straight up I let go they fade away understand so yeah um, you can also now add as many items as you want to the bottom panel there is no limit at all you can carry on adding if you hover over it will give you a uh, description of what is open you can also minimize maximize the same way you used to in the past with the last update you can now also minimize and maximize directly on the right uh, the left panel itself the the dash launcher panel so that's pretty cool some wherever you are on your desktop you can either just move to the left if your mouse mouse is closer there or if it's closer to the bottom just move to the bottom and minimize and maximize so that's pretty awesome uh, the I explained the three panel system the other day but for those that obviously might be watching this video for the first time uh, basically how it works is there we go see look for updates says your system is up to date now if they were updates it would have a little blue circle and an exclamation mark sort of just highlighting their updates and if you then click on it it would then show the updates if you actually want to see here why I actually like this update manager is it actually gives you a level of safety on each of the updates so it will tell you if it's certified updates recommended safe updates unsafe updates or dangerous updates and as you can see I've unticked the unsafe and dangerous so the only updates that will come through are the first three ones that are safe okay so that's pretty awesome you can obviously if you feel you want to destabilize your system or chance it you can go tick those ones but anyway um, it's a very cool update manager um, and it notifies you straight in the bottom panel I mean how awesome is that that I've never in my life seen in unity before okay so as you can see the three panel system it's the top panel the left hand panel and the bot bottom panel okay um, they take barely any space I mean you can put your mouse on that spot that's how much space it takes that little space that's your top panel bottom panel slightly bigger slightly bigger you need it for the icons to see but slightly bigger that's a little space your side panel is, is about probably about a little bit bigger than both of those maybe both of those put together but it's still pretty small compared to the normal the normal side panel I've reduced the size quite a lot I could actually reduce it some more but um, at this at this point you know you need your favorite icons there and they need to be visible and you need to sort of minimize and maximize on them as well so I think that's the perfect size but yeah the three panels basically your plugins on the top your title bar controls at the other side of the top so you're utilizing one bar for both you've got your favorites on the left and you can add so many icons here and it's scrollable you can add 20 30 icons I don't even know what the limit to this is so you can have all your most used apps straight at your fingertips without having to minimize or open a menu or go anywhere literally you can put the 10 or 20 or 50 or whatever most used application icon straight here so and then you've got your bottom panel where you can access your traditional menu update your repositories minimize maximize and control windows do your updates um, view time and as well as that you can actually manage a full calendar with your daily tasks contacts notes you name it so literally without even minimizing your window at all whatever you're doing in this window be it a file browser a web browser window a terminal window uh, whatever you've got open without even closing anything you've got access to most of your operating system with this with these three panels that surround you I mean you don't even you don't have that in XFCE you don't have it in GNOME you don't have it in the default unity you don't actually have it in any other operating system because they'll have either the bottom panel or they'll have the side panel or they'll have the top panel 
but they won't have all three understand so you'll only have partial here you've only got certain plugins that you can use um, you know with a with a side panel you've only got so many icons that you can use but you're limited to what you can do with them you can't always also see what everything that is open because if you minimize something the only thing that tells you it's open is that the icon is highlighted and you've got a little arrow there that is so tiny you can barely see it but what happens when you've got a um, whole bunch of stuff open and everything looks very similar sometimes these things don't always highlight very you know in 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 such a way that you can see it if your eyesight's not very good or um you know you're kind of not looking really at it um i've missed a couple of times where apps were open and i didn't see they were open and i've got 2020 vision um so yeah so um just something i wanted to point out that this app is n the side panel is not very reliable the way it's set up for what they set it up and that's where this bottom panel comes in i mean yeah you can see clearly everything that's open and it fades into the background you need it it highlights you leave it it fades how awesome is that I've actually got sort of a semi transparent um, thing not just the transparency on the on the bottom panel but uh, the actual apps and icons on the bottom panel also fade now so like <laughs> I know a couple of people are gonna say I'm going a little bit overboard of this transparency but uh, it is useful because when you've got everything minimized you don't really want to see the bottom panel you know what I mean you want it gone you want it out of the way I like it that way but yeah you've got access to your whole system virtually via the panels that kind of just surround your desktop you can control your windows and all the settings here you can control your plugins weather um, network settings your brightness your Bluetooth your wallpaper I mean you just select wallpaper don't have to go in anywhere just select the wallpaper change it to something else you know and then just close it again actually let me wait there's a where's that other wallpaper I want I want to change it to something else let's change it to that one and then you've also no not this one I don't like the where's that other one I was looking for uh, just give me a sec I actually had a wallpaper here that I kind of used earlier that I kind of liked as well there we go I like that one that's quite a nice wallpaper too so you've got all of your plugins here and you can add a whole bunch more I mean there's a lot of space here to add plugins and I'm on a small resolution bigger resolution the space get bigger you can add more plugins okay you can control your mail virtually everything from the top panel here your side panel all your favorite applications right at your fingertips bottom panel you got your traditional menu repository access uh, or syncing access access you've got um, your apps that you can minimize maximize can update your system um, view the time and you can actually manage your tasks and stuff all with just a click of a button without even minimizing a single window and that is the essence of Makulu Linux unity desktop that is what makes it so nice okay and um, so pretty much that is what I've been toying with over the last week the fact that unity itself is well it's nice but it lacks that little you know like most things in life it just lacks that little extra something that makes it special and this I know this thing's refreshing a lot yeah but it's because I've set the updates to five minutes because uh, I kind of just want to do I was actually hoping there would be updates but I know there isn't um, it's just for demonstration purposes just to show that it's working um, the 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 finished product will probably be set to like an hour or two or something like that but anyway um, so yeah that is pretty much Makulu Linux unity edition fully functional top panel fully functional side panel and now a fully functional bottom panel with clock with menu with favorites or a favorite icon I don't need to put any more in there because the others are all in there with a fully functional Windows list with a fully functional update manager giving notifications in your panel you can see 24 hours a day and a fully functional clock with a fully functional calendar slash task task manager or whatever you want to call it so yeah that is version 2.2 alpha 2.2 uh, I'm currently just having some issues with the installer. Ugh, I hate that installer. 
um, is starting to like really freak me out um, but yeah once I get the installer up and working um, or fix the bugs that have been reported I will be sending this version this new version out to testers and then they can actually test how nice the system runs how smooth and how well it runs and you know how perfect that it almost is in every other way and um, yeah once I fixed all the bugs that they report back on this um, and then there's a couple of theming issues that I also want to fix um, once that's done I think this will move into beta I don't want to beat around the bush I don't want to drag out this release and make everybody wait six months for it um, I think this release will probably depending on the installer um, probably be released in the next few weeks so the lo the wait is really not that long anymore but I must tell you it is going to be magical and I've never in my life had so many responses on on a um, release before for the sheer amount of people that swear they hate unity and all it stands for and all of that crap uh, you guys sure love to rant about about it <laughs> because like my emails are being flooded daily I'm getting comments on YouTube like you won't believe um, in people are talking about in the chat channel on forums everywhere I go I just see people going on about it so um, yeah for those guys that really don't like it I really think you should try it you know just for the sake of saying you tried it even if you're gonna if even if you know you're gonna install it run it for five minutes and then throw it away that doesn't matter at least try it because I tell you I tell you right now this grows on you very quickly the worst case scenario the thing that you'll hate the most is getting used to these little buttons them being on the other side of the window and being back to front where the minimize isn't in the middle it's this one that's the minimize and maximize and that one just removes it like minimizes completely out of the window and then of course close so those three little buttons they the worst things to actually get used to but you kind of do you run this for a few hours you kind of get used to those buttons very quickly you know the, the rest the rest just is so comfortable and smooth you won't believe how awesome this runs I mean I've got a fully functional bottom panel something I've never had in unity before I've got a fully functional favorites that is taking up half less than half the space it used to a fully functional top panel and I can access everything from half of my PC without even needing to minimize anything um, so yeah I think that is pretty awesome and then on top of that your bottom panel when you don't need it it fades away it's just there in the background it looks like it's kind of part of the wallpaper like a watermark on the wallpaper um, these obviously don't fade and there's a reason for that you don't want your update manager to be invisible you want to see it if there's an update you want it highlighted so that that stays bright nice and bright and of course if you want to view the time you don't want to squint to see it so that stays bright as well so I've, I've actually put partial partial transparency on the items on the desktop where some items are semi-transparent when not needed and others stay highlighted so yeah so beat that unity or Ubuntu or whoever and I hope Ubuntu is watching this because I tell you after this release they may actually add a bottom panel because I really don't see why not I think they're just shooting themselves in the foot by not doing it or at least not implementing something that works like it's supposed to but yeah anyway I'm, I don't want to trash anybody it's not my style um, uh, anyway so I'll just end off with saying that um, this will definitely be a very 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 good and worthy release and I can actually probably see this being very very popular so uh, I just wanted to bring you the update and show you guys the, uh, the you know the latest news I guess on what's happening you've got three panel system and the bottom panel is just getting better and better every time you see it you now have a clock with a fully functional calendar that actually has features in it it's not just a little calendar it's actually got features you've got a update manager that sits in the bottom panel where it's supposed to next to the clock it gives you the uh, notifies you of the latest updates 
you got a, a quick app kit update repository button here you've got a menu here fully functional traditional menu and you can actually configure this menu just right click configure menu and it actually g opens up menu libra and here you can now go and um, let's find something here you can actually go and edit anything you can edit any of your icons uh, go crazy so that's that's a fully functional menu like a menu on any other system and when you're not using your menu or the, any of the bottom bar even the windows list you just leave just move your mouse away and it fades into the background and it kind of just blends with everything else you got your favorites here i mean how awesome is that fully functional system it's almost i swear if, uh, if i had a panel here if i could find some use for a panel here i'd probably add it and make it a 360 degree but what is this this isn't 180 this is uh what what the, yeah this is a 180 180 degrees yeah because you start there and you you end up back there so yeah it's it's like a full-on 180 basically i think this is 180 degrees yeah 180 degree of awesomeness right around your your desktop doesn't matter what you're doing just move your mouse up left down and you can kind of just access almost anything so that is pretty cool that's awesome that is alpha 2.2 coming to the testers soon i'm just working on some bugs with the installer the constructor is actually fully operational now i've tested this constructor many times over uh where is it the makulu constructor is now fully adapted to ubuntu the only problem is the installer that goes with it i'm still having some issues with the installer so once that is done i think this is gonna actually move into beta and it's gonna look damn good doing it so yeah that's the update from me for today cheers